ông quay cho ông mình gặp cảm to khi làm đại ca để thi sĩ mà ca nơi thầy đi thì việc thực hiện ông làm đại năng thi sĩ mà ca to đặc biệt khi cầm sắt dây xin đi scan bớt tạm một phần thấp tuổi vì ít công việc nhiều sản xuất làm rich hay nơi thi sĩ ông làm đại năng thi sĩ mà ca đặc biệt khi cầm sắt dây ở tại trường đất tại miền hà sơn niêm thi sĩ w ក្រមវិធីសម្រាប់ការលោកស្រីសែកោវិធីលរីកាពីសថានភាពវត្តមានអវត្តមានភិក្ខីនៅកុំគោលដែលអង្គយំដេះក៏ហាញ់ជឿ
Why is that? Because he uh, had, he obviously had reasons to support the Khmer Rouge. And uh, I don't know that from him, but I know that other people have said that they'd spoken to him, and he didn't want to lose his family. Some of his family had already died. Do you remember if in that same news broadcast, Prince Yunuk said something about um, Lono soldiers or Lono uh, military, something about what their fate should be? Uh, no, I don't remember that. Um, now going back again to, to 17 April and, and the days after. Um, I would like you to have a look at page um, 72 of your diary. Um, and more particularly, the paragraph below, the first, not the second from below, that would be uh, Mr. President ERN number 0089820. Um, on the bottom of that page it says foreigners who trickle into the embassy in subsequent days carry stories of bodies on the road, people who died of illness or exhaustion on the march, and also reports of executions, but none of the latter were eyewitness accounts. Um, would you be able to elaborate, especially uh, Mr. Chamber, on that last sentence, uh, that there were no eyewitness uh, accounts? Is that, would that be correct? Uh, in this convoy of trucks, uh, when he left the city, we left it by a road no that I've never been on, and it was a road that came into the city, and there were bodies scattered, still not picked up, uh, dead bodies, and uh, so there, it was, it was difficult to tell whether they were soldiers or uh, civilians. But we, there were, let's say, a dozen or so bodies that I saw. Um, what, what I was actually referring to is whether you, in the days after 17 April, uh, heard accounts of witnesses who had actually seen um, execution of law and soldiers or officials. Uh, we, didn't, we weren't able to talk to, uh, to people on the way out. So, uh, I, only after we uh, got back to the embassy did we get a we got our freedom and we entered Thailand we were able to talk to people who had uh, experienced uh, uh, negative, uh, 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 negative, you know, neg negative happenings when uh, no, uh, negative things they witnessed. Yes. But I myself did not witness those things. Um, on page 77 of um, your diary, on the, on the top of that page, uh, you are in number 0089825. You write, and I, I quote on the, on the top of that page, a second-hand report makes the rounds of the embassy that insurgents have executed seven people, including Long Boret. Rumors like this were regularly sweeped through the compound, but are never confirmed. Um, and on page 91, The third paragraph of your diary, um, you describe a person called Henry Becker, 
you write in the third paragraph as follows. Becker has some interesting things to tell. He says Kirsten Palm, the top prayer rouge leader, has not yet arrived in Phnom Penh. He says Long Barret has not been executed yet. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to to find out what your knowledge was about um, fact and rumors in respect of possible executions of, on the one hand, Ronald soldiers or maybe even government officials, and on the other hand, um, the seven super traders. Did you ever, that would be my, my more specific question, did you ever have uh, credible reports from eyewitnesses, for instance, about uh, uh, their executions or these alleged executions. Well, in the years, in the years that followed, uh, I saw statements by Khmer Rouge leaders acknowledging that they had killed Long Barret and others. And, uh, and Sirik Matak. Uh, and so I took that as, I accepted that as a fact since it was spoken by the Khmer Rouge Politburo itself. I agree, but what about uh, rumors about uh, lower ranking uh, military officials or soldiers from the Lono regime? When I returned to Cambodia no, years later, Kampuchea, I, met, I met the families of people that I had known that had worked with me in some room. room. And his wife told me how he I was taken away and killed one night. And uh, in the place where they were working, and she, didn't, they were, she never was told, nor did she ask, uh, why they did it. She was too afraid. But these were accounts that you heard much later, is that correct? You didn't hear uh, eyewitness accounts of, of executions in the days after 17 April. I'm puzzled. If, I wasn't, uh, if people weren't uh, out in a, in a refugee camp, uh, I don't know no. how I would have been able to talk to them and, 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 and gather such information. Well, um, if I understood your diary correctly, um, people did uh, come in the, uh, in the French embassy in the week after uh, 17 April uh, with, with accounts of, of events uh, that they had seen. So I was wondering maybe uh, if you had heard any direct eyewitness accounts of executions from people uh, coming in in the days after 17 April. Well, let, let, let's, yeah, I, I, not specific, specifically not speaking about um, the seven um, traitors or super traitors as they are sometimes referred to, but um, alleged executions of, uh, in general, of Lon Nol uh, military or officials. I don't, re I don't remember uh, anybody telling stories like that. They, people, some people told us how they were... Uh, forced or brought out of their houses and to, to, uh, to uh, join the rest of the population uh, in, uh, in uh, miles away in the countryside. I did not hear any of them. And I, and the answer is really no. Um, then another subject, did you hear in the days that you were at the French embassy um, reports maybe from UN officials or from other people connected to NGOs about um, the way that the refugees who were living in Phnom Penh um, left 
Phnom Penh on 17 April and the days after. Uh, the people, the, the NGOs, and other people like that, that were in the embassy, uh, didn't know any more than I did. They saw what I saw. And they, moved, and they were moved out of Cambodia, so the answer is no. Let me um, ask a little bit more about the situation of the refugees. And that would mean that we would go back in time again, leaving. Um, 17th of April, and I would like you to have a look specifically at page 5 of um, your diary, that's an entry of 7 January 1975, ERN 00898213, and in the first paragraph of that page, you write as follows. An embassy official estimates that 40,000 to 50,000 new refugees have been generated by this offensive. Already it is generally agreed um, half the country's population of 7 million have been uprooted by the war. It is one of the basic statistics here. Another is the five-year casualty toll. Nearly one million killed or wounded. And there are tens of thousands of widows and orphans. Hordes of the orphans have become beggars, as have hordes of war-maimed soldiers. And after five years of thinner and thinner diets, malnutrition has struck. Uh, especially that the young and dozens of malnourished children with concentration camp bodies are dying daily. Would you, Mr. Schambeck, be able to expand uh, more on those statistics? What was your source of these numbers when you wrote them down in your diary on 7 January? The, uh, the Came, the, the first figures came from embassy officials, that that meant meant embassy officers from several countries. Uh, the everything else I witnessed myself. I witnessed the uh, infants who were suffering from malnutrition. I, I witnessed them die. At places where they were treated by an NGO. And so all of the, the rest of the, the, of the deaths that I saw while I was still in Cambodia in that things that I had witnessed myself. That I understand also from the entry of your diary, but I will say that it refers more to the second part of that paragraph, but in the second sentence of that paragraph, you, you write, already it is generally agreed half the country's population of 7 million have been uprooted by the war, it's one of the basic statistics. Now, when you write generally agreed, what do you mean? I can answer that by saying those people who had, uh, Information, most of the people in embassies or in NGOs, told us what they had found out from what you might call Bush. Uh, well, it was word to mouth uh, uh, word of mouth that they had heard or seen. That's where the information came. Would, would you be able to, be re, to recall if you, if you saw reports or any other information indicating the estimated amount of refugees who were living in Phnom Penh uh, in the months uh, before 17 April 1975? Uh, who was living there at the time uh, would need um, a document to uh, tell him or her uh, that, that there were new people who had come and that the population had doubled uh, and maybe more. more. The population the before, before the war was about one million, uh, and now it was two million or uh, living uh, 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 in the uh, 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 u
you know, maybe 20 or 30 people were living in apartments, ah. houses. I am uh, mindful of the time, so I will move on to another subject. Um, and that is an entry in your diary, Mr. Shamberg, on page 75. Um, that would be ERN number 00898283. And in the middle of that page, no. you describe a discussion uh, which was going on apparently uh, on, at the compounds of the embassy. Um, in the middle it says, and I quote as follows, several of us watching from the front gate discuss the insurgents probably reasons for this astonishing emptying of the city. It is a way of cleaning out any possible pockets of armed resistance, some say, and of searching for government officials who have gone into hiding. Others suggest it is a way to avoid the impossible task of feeding a refugee swollen city of over two million people at the time of extreme rice shortage. They push everybody out and start fresh, and then they blame any deaths from the march or any other immediate problems on the Regime, it goes a goes further. Do you remember writing this, and, 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 uh, and if yes, when exactly did you write this? I wrote this, uh, as I testified yesterday, uh, from the notes in my... I mean, after I came out of Cambodia, uh, from the, the notes I had taken at this time, at that time uh, while I was, I was uh, in the country, and, uh, and that's how it got into the, uh, it, it got into the uh, diary. And, and do, do you remember the actual discussion uh, that you had with uh, the people that you are referring to? Yes, what I remember is what I wrote down. And um, some of the arguments that you have written down um, are you able to tell us if they somehow uh, were corresponding with the things that you had yourself observed? Yeah, to the things that I had observed. Um, but not, not every incident, but yes, I had observed some of the things. And especially um, what some people seem to suggest that um, uh, that it was a way to avoid the impossible task of feeding a refugee swollen city of over two million at the time of extreme rice shortage. Was that something, was that an, were these observations that corresponded with the things that you had seen yourself? Yes. Would you be able to expand your yes as to reasons why? Uh, if the Khmer Rouge wanted to feed the population of Phnom Penh at that time, they could have opened the Mekong, which they had blocked off. But that seems to be a reason not supporting this argument, or am I wrong? Yes, the argument that, that, they, that they ordered the, the evacu evacuation uh, to feed the two million is that what you're saying? Yes, yes. 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 I think that was a false explanation. But that's your opinion. Um, when I explained why it was my opinion, they controlled the river, and that was the primary uh, supply 
hay từ lấy mấy con này vì chia bọc hút cục cung chồng bom place where we were getting where they usually got the their food and other chia bọc hút đại kê lòng từ tua biển à à thân nam pe chỉ làm lại let me let me if you allow me try it from another angle do you remember who it was who suggested that it was a way the moving out of the people to avoid the impossible task of feeding a refugee swollen city of over 2 million people at the time of extreme violence who was it As far as I can remember, that came from Khmer Rouge and people who supported the Khmer Rouge saying that that was the reason that the city was empty. And I am saying that that didn't, to me, make any sense because all they had to do was start blocking the main crow river that came from Saigon to Cambodia 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 when you say this Suggesting came suggestion came from people who were supporting the Khmer Rouge or maybe from the Khmer Rouge itself. Um, are you maybe referring to uh, two people who also at one point came um, to the embassy? Uh, two people called, and I refer you to page 89 of your diary. Uh, two men and Shane Tar. Uh, what paragraph are you at? I am at um, page 89, the second paragraph. Uh, there you write about two new arrivals at the embassy. Um, Chu Meng and Shane Tar. She was of Chinese extraction, as I remember it. She was in Australia. They told us when they came in that they had tried to join the group going into the interior. The two people in this so-called sort of food, food growing campaign. And be able to feed them. And they were told us that the Khmer Rouge officials said they appreciate your efforts, but they could not protect them. And they that they told these two to come and take refuge in the French embassy. Do you remember anything about the reports that you remember anything about the reports that the two of them made? of the things they had seen prior to them entering the embassy. I don't remember any detail. They didn't go very far. They went to 10 or 15 miles. They didn't have anything about what was going on except for the evacuation. They had to go to the embassy. What do you remember that they did say about the evacuation? They said it was, they said it was a uh, legitimate thing to do. Um, that's that's um, um, what they might have been saying as a as, as an argument. What, what what do you remember, remember of them having? Uh, making actually uh, accounts of what the, of the things they have seen. You remember what they told you uh, that they had seen in the days before uh, they entered the embassy. They were only 
អ្នកដែលនៅក្នុងស្ថានទូតហើយឃើញខ្មែរកាហមឬក៏មើលឃើញខ្មែរកាហមថាជាពួកកម្លាំងកំប្លាញនោះគឺជាការខុស Bukke um, yesterday I was referring to, to, uh, to criticism on, on your reporting, part of the sources of that criticism uh, coming from uh, Noam Chomsky on your reporting is based on a report that uh, those two individuals have written. Um, are you aware of the discussion or do you know about the discussion uh, on your reporting where uh, people like Chomsky are referring to the reports of, um, uh, of these two individuals? You know, I never saw that. They are, for instance, saying that they <coughs> uh, that and then I will go especially to the to, to, to the, the, the part of looting. They, they, uh, they say that they never really saw any signs of organized looting or other forms of looting in Phnom Penh. Do you remember speaking to them about looting uh, in Phnom Penh? I do not. Mr. President, if I, if I may be heard. Uh, uh, I'm not rising to object, but merely to request that my learned friend could supply the information as to the source from which he is reading so that he can be knowledgeable. Thank you. 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 Yes, I would be able to do that. I'm referring to a document D3-9942, ERN number S00455507. More specifically, S0004594. Mr. Chairman, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get your answer. Did you, did you say you didn't remember speaking about any uh, about looting or their reports or about what they saw in Phnom Penh? I had a couple of conversations with them and they said that everything we had seen wasn't true. At one point, um, he, both he and his girlfriend uh, threatened, because we disagreed with them, they said they were going to disagree with them, they were going to report us to the uh, Khmer Rouge leaders. The reason this conversation was happening is that they were going to report us to the Khmer Rouge leaders. Conversation with them was negative. How he had parked his other young to change with Cotta, young to two man at the party, I would you mean 
Đó sao ta mình miên cả ai cập phía khuyên nhóm cơ lúc mọt châu tới Anh đi kì chế bánh hà Hay nó bê dương ngươp lãng phía bức kì dương miên tài bài hộp Nói chân ác kì dương hộp tôi nét được tây hộp chân đây And that was when I remember. Ah, this is 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 when I remember. Ah, And fear by those who have nothing but contempt for the competition people. And it seems that they're referring not only to John Swain but also to you. Now, would you be able to tell us on the basis of your encounters and discussions with them why they would write that about you? Because they, because obviously they were supporting an event. Because they were supporting an event. Đã chỉ hạt cả đó, cả đó. Chỉ hạt cả đại bản đạo, ai mình cả bạch bóng chỉ vượt mà nó. Cứ bạch bóng chỉ vượt mà nó dẫn cho đó. Khi nhóm chụp lại bê chỉ cho đó ăn máu nên ta mình tìm bẹt. Nơi chỉ mùi đang chôn đồn cửa nó bê đã kia nóm dược chôn đồn cửa mọc mình tìm bẹt. Hãy khiêm khơi Tiếng mà nữ Bình vây cho đôi chứ không anh không ai đã đạch đại đạch chứ Hãy khiêm bán chật chê cho mỗi cuộn nẹ chân rung cửa tầng ọt nữ Cứ bố kê cho chân rung cửa này Bộ khám ai có hôm Cứ nẹ cứ cà vi bà hà rồi bác bộ khám ai có hôm Hãy dừng khơi xa sắp cái đạo cô chương lưu khả nế Hãy cầm ra ớt Cầm ra chân chương cứ bà lạng tờ đào chim Hồi vị trưởng bằng đất cư ạc Ốc tăng phía sau đầy đầm bầy vết cắt Xong bầy tẻ có rực gần xong rạp xong át nâng có khả miền đấy Hồi nơi cơ đa bằng tục vết cắt nâng Cư dương khuyên bảo áp cật tông để Cư xong mẹ xem mẹ bảo cả tông đầm bay cái đạ đại trường đạ đại pi mà nước nó cái đại châu thì không bảo áp nâng vì mới tới đôi chia riêng mới đã cọ cho tiệm bông thọt that 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 might very well be xem đua ở con chợ an lục I have never been in in a war as you have indicated yesterday you are just merely now describing the victims of a war in which 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 the victims of a war That might not be any different than the casualties that we are seeing right now in Syria, for instance. So that still doesn't um, explain the negative feelings that these two people seem to have about you and, and the things that you have been saying to them in those days at the embassy in That is something you may believe. And I would suggest that you don't go to war, but you go to Cambodia and talk to the people who survived. But that's so. And that's so. Was supported by anything we had seen. And that's so. 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 Another thing, what uh, Tar and his wife have written is um, when it became clear that we had no sensational stories to tell of mass executions, rape, pillage and suicides, many of these journalists became dis quite disappointed. We have a, a, a comment on this observation. I don't see anything like that being said. If I may be heard, Mr. President. 
Just a, just a point of order. We're trying to follow to keep up with my learned friend. Um, he indicated the document that he's reading from was authored by Chomsky. He appears to be a note on Chomsky looking at the first page. Um, I'm not sure about the veracity of the document. It is not an official publication. Um, he, he's able to provide further information about what this document actually is. Um, and then takes us to the specific page so we can read it uh, and, 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 and be satisfied that these words are indeed being attributed to this couple, which just seems a little bit hazy at the moment as to who said what. And at what stage and to whom. I understand the prosecutor's observation. Um, but on the other hand, I, I was passing a note that I have, um, have, uh, overstepped my time and that the Kyosin Pond team would like to uh, start their questioning. Um, so I, um, I presume I have to wrap up my, uh, my questioning. And I will be very happy to give details um, after this hearing. Thank you, President. Could you just give us the details now rather than wait until the end of the hearing, please? Of, of course, of course, Judge Carver. Uh, I actually mentioned already the, um, the relevant uh, ERN numbers. Uh, my last quote came from um, S004559. It's page 83 in the online note in relation to uh, a, a note on Chomsky. It was Could, could I have the D number again, please? Because I'm not familiar with the uh, number starting with S. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Schanberg. <laughs> uh, S0004557. The D number. Uh, sorry, I, I apologize. D399. If I can be of, of, of some assistance, that, that number, uh, my lawyer may not be familiar with it, but this is a, it appears to be a DC cam number. It's, it's in the top right hand corner. This is why the format may not be familiar to, to, to your honours and perhaps others in the court. Um, we don't have a document number for it. It appears to be on the shared materials drive, but, but it's a document that uh, everybody's able to see. Can you talk to your honours? ອ່າອໍຄຸນຈະປະຕາຕອນນີ້ອໍແມ່ຝ່າວວິທິການຈຸນເຕີກົມວິທິການພິກໄດ້ເລືອກຄືສົມພອນ <coughs> ខ្ញុំមានសំណួរមួយចំនួនដើម្បីសួរលោកជាតបោកខ្ញុំចង់សួរបញ្ជាក់ថាតើរយៈពេលមុនរបបកម្ពុជាប្រជាធិបតេយ
គឺថាខ្ញុំអាចបានស្មើបានគឺប្រហែលជាពីឆ្នាំឬក៏លើខ្វះតិចតួនគ្រាន់ដែរជាពីឆ្នាំ <coughs> 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 ពីរឡាសេនតិនភ្លីសូមលោកសួរសំណួរមសាទៀតខ្ញុំស្ដាប់ទៅជាមិនច្បាស់លោកសិស្សបាទសម្ដុរគុណខ្ញុំចង់ស
ហើយបន្ទាប់ឡើងអាចរកឃើញសំតុលោកស្គេមបើដោយសារនៅទីនេះលោកឆ្លើយចំពោះមុខអង្គសាមណាកាន់ចឹងខ្ញុំសូម
ចំឡាយអត់ទេខ្ញុំសុខទៅខ្ញុំមិនដែរឃើញបញ្ជីឬក៏ <coughs> I never used anything told to me by anyone who had exaggerated or exaggerated or exaggerated. I believe my estimates are very close to the actual number. ខ្ញុំសូមសួរលោកអំពីទំនាក់ទំនងរវាងរដ្ឋាភិបាលសាធារណរដ្ឋខ្មែរ <coughs> ញឹកញាប់ប៉ុណ្ណាដែរក្នុងក្នុងរបបកម្ពុជានៅក្នុងរបបពីឆ្នាំ <coughs> 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 Not very far from Phnom Penh. Kyung ខ្ញុំចង់ឲ្យលោកបញ្ជាក់ថាតើមានទំនាក់ទំនងអវ័យផ្សេងទៀតឧទាហរណ៍ទាក់ទងទៅនឹងផ្នែកការទូតដែល
ឬក៏យកពតមានទាក់ទងទៅនឹងឯករាជ្យរបស់រដ្ឋាភិបាលសាធារណរដ្ឋខ្មែរនៅក្នុងសម័យឆ្នាំ ហើយមានតែអ្នកដែលធ្វើការសម្រេចចិត្តគឺគឺថាតតែលោកសួរអ្នកដែលគ្រប់គ្រងរដ្ឋាភិបាលលុនដល់ប៉ុណ្ណោ
Yes, I have read it. Yes. Chấm lời khi ông sẽ xe bẹp nít mền. Lúc ấy bận chuyện bận thêm, chấm bùa khâm sa chia sờ rộp đài ở đâm sân đây si sơ vật sơn mật tạ ban sơ sen nộp nộp thế. Chấm lời Sri Mata cứ chia bọc cô đã khi nhóm cơ rốt Cô chia con cũng lăng nữa khi nông rồi thắp bị ba lần đó Cứ rồi thắp bị ba thầm mấy Hà vậy đã có nịt gì ấy Khi nhóm cơ thả vị chia đường xăm xe rộp Bà xong ổ cốn Ta lúc ách bình chạy bì cô bòm nòng Nây lý khật nụ bàn đại tế Chẳng lời đã xa ta khi nhóm mình mang trên đại sơ xe lý khật nó Hãy khi nhóm cầm mình mang trên mất phép dân đất xa nào trên môi xe rình bật tạ Khi nhóm mình đang thật ta khi nhóm trả lời xong nồn lúc đòi được bếp nào nữa tế Nhi cứ chưa lực khật ở đó bỏ quật Đây cho nên khi nhóm mình ai trả lời tổ Rồi còn mình ai bắt đầu mà tệ bao lâu vây trong buồn lúc bàn tế Bà xong ổ cốn Ta lúc ách bình chạy bị biệt tha To die in freedom Ca slap Nước nông sửa đầy phiếp ní Bạn đã thế Lúc sẽ bắt các bạn toàn xoay tốt Xong chơi lúc đồng nàng xa bình nhá Mr. President, the witness just said that he can't speak to the thoughts behind the letter. Um, he didn't write it. It was written by an, a different individual who was subsequently killed. Um, as to what, what, what particular words in the letter were intended to mean is clearly beyond the witness's knowledge, uh, and the question should not be asked. Bà xa mò con lục bà thiên, khi nhóm chóng bánh chìa thà tuộc bây chìa át tà bọt ní, mình mên chìa sơ xê làng đòi xạ xây cò đáo ý, có bọn tay việt thất nâng khăn nông siêu phơ, có đọt hẹt rồi bỏ xạ xây, hay đè xạ xây thuê ca sân khẹp. Nhưng chẳng vì miền này thà xạ xây ách dư l, ông bì khăn xa ní, tớ quạt dư l chùm nạch, xâm khăn xâm khăn chẳng ní, mọc đạc bánh chô l, nâng khăn nông siêu phơ ได้จุดตัวหนึ่งแฮทพอลในการจุดตัวหรือเปล่าลำนางทาเป็นยาหรือสำนวนนี่เมียนแฮทพอลซอมทรอปหรือที่ไหนภาษาไทยมันใบช
Kim Som Dot Sang Lu Scan Bird, I quote, In Washington, the Cambodian ambassador, Om Sim, in a speech to Washington Press Club, says, you have found our case is hopeless, but we have to cling to life until we die. Let's face it, you took advantage of us, our inexperience, as you are much cleverer than we are, you could induce us into this fighting. Phim Chong, Oi Lok Bình Chia Tha, Chlai Chlai Bình Chia Tha, Ta At The Bot Mưu Ni, Lok Ban, Tô Tuol, Nang Ban Thu Vua Ka, Ri Ka, Om Pi Khlom Sa, Ni Da Rute, I did not, I do not remember in, inserting this quote uh, in an article. Uh, I don't know where I heard it, but there we, we are. As a reporter, I, I found these things in other, uh, you know, on the internet, uh, in, the, in the papers that I saw, I saw this sentence in a reliable newspaper. Uh, and, uh, and and I don't remember if I used it in a story. Again, you just have to come through my writing. But these are my writings. These are my writings. Is there a story in the paper that I wrote? Is there a story in the paper that I wrote? Dan pada mian rukuk atau sekadar rika tiada tong tentang pratikam robah rotawi bal amrek tiada tong tentang sekadar thlain robah lok om sem ni dati. I don't remember. It looks like something that I might include, but that's a potential for your answer. Again, you would have to go in about that time, the April 11th, and look at a few days, and in that time, you would find if I had written about it. Hi, look back, Mr. Tung. Look, then, can you just say where you got it? Hi. Ba sum o kun. Chia tông tên nâng ca triêm, ca priêng nâu cầm đọt hai rồi bỏ lộc lộc bàn mình chia tha lộc bàn thuê bia nâu khăn ông sọc mái hay bàn cai đầm cai sầm ruột nâu bê đời lộc trả chân bị bắt tay cam bự chia nâu khăn ông chăn bòn bự chật sập ram khiêm trăng suốt tha ta ca cọt tra đầm bông hay nâng ca cai sầm ruột trong cày rồi bỏ lộc nâu miên ca bảy ruột Jangan pernah dah. No, what I testified to was that my editor had asked me to keep a diary. I did not keep a separate notebook for that. I put the notes in my regular notebooks. I did not write the diary until I came out of the way. And I explained, I believe, yesterday or the day before. ដោយពីមិនសិលមិនពីមិនសិលមិនមានថាអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអាយអ
bà sầm mọc con ta lục miên cầm nát tra đại lục ban phơ nứng đại ai đại chun ông chun chun bia đầm bay phơ cà tiêm toát rồi viêng cầm nát tra cha rồi bỏ lục chỉ môi nứng cầm nát tra tham mây ní đại thế No, I never kept a record like that. Again, I could, I could try to find some of my notebooks and you could compare them to what's here. But I, I had no reason to, you know, when I made a notation that this was a diary, uh, there's no reason that, that I would change it. ในคือสําหรับการกําหนดตราประจํางานมันมีอะไรได้ខ្ញុំត្រូវកែស្រាវជាមានអត្តនីគឺអ្វីដែលខ្ញុំសរសេរនៅក្នុងសិភោកត្
pouvez indiquer si, en termes euh, de sources auxquelles euh, vous vous adressez, il y a des particularités ou des précautions à prendre. Euh, je m'explique. Vous avez indiqué que, euh, notamment lorsque vous étiez au Cambodge, une de euh, vos sources d'information était euh, pour l'avancée, euh, en tout cas des troupes euh, armées de l'un ou de l'autre côté, euh, que l'une de vos sources était euh, l'ambassade américaine. Ma question est donc, plus précisément, en dehors de l'ambassade américaine, quelles étaient euh, vos sources euh, pour avoir euh, des renseignements sur l'avancée, euh, les négociations éventuelles, euh, les euh, positions euh, des diplomates, etc. Est-ce que vous pouvez préciser cela à ว่าเขาเรียนว่าเขาเรียนว่าเขาเรียนว่าเขาเรียนว่าเขาเรียนว่าเขาเรียนว่าเขาเรียนว่าเขาเรียนว่าเขาเรียนว่าเขาเรีย
Je pense que j'en ai euh, à vue de nez, au moins pour euh, 45-50 minutes. En tout cas, je pense prendre euh, le temps euh, qui m'est imparti euh, dans le cadre de la répartition entre les équipes de défense. Peut-être que je terminerai plus tôt, mais je préfère euh, entre 50 minutes, parce que j'ai des citations à faire en anglais et ça risque de prendre un peu de temps. บ่าวคนนิยมสูนี่ได้สาเปเปลียดอลเปลเตอร์สําหรับให้เอ่อในองค์ยมเรียกกับประกาศสําหรับจะเปเปลียดเตอร์โลดมองดอบ